Let's get down to business now. To address the cost of computer units, input devices, and promote local manufacturing, two semiconductor, microchips, and electronics plants are said to be set up at Dedan Kimath University after investors pledged to set up facilities in the institution of higher learning. Australian developer of green supply chain infrastructure has signed a memorandum of understanding with Semiconductors Technologies LLC to build suit facilities for the development of semiconductors and microchips in Africa, beginning with Kenya. The deal will see 54 billion shillings invested directly in the infrastructure and real estate required by STL across sub-Saharan Africa over the next six years. The first two facilities will be developed at the Dedan Kimathi Science and Technology Park in the county of Nyeri, the first science and technology park in Kenya, at a cost of 14.85 billion shillings. So the agreement that we have uh, and that we just signed uh, is a memorandum of understanding that sets off discussions around many different things. Uh, the semiconductor space and the facilities that support the technology are extremely complicated, sometimes extremely expensive, and they actually require uh, developers that have a keen eye on energy, on operating cost, on the real estate, on the green spaces, because we are looking to be the premier manufacturer of green semiconductors in the continent. The model is pretty unique in that um, Ivu is coming in as a partner for the infrastructure, specifically and only. So the bricks, the mortar, the infrastructure that supports what STL is trying to do in Nyeri and in the rest of the country and in the region. Um, the total value of that is about 400 million US dollars in, about, in debt and equity um, over the next 10 years.